and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to turn your WordPress blog posts into interactive experiences with Nuclear Engagement plugin. So, let's delve into this. Now we are on the generate page of the Nuclear Engagement plugin and uh, here on this page we will need to generate our content. Um, here we will need to choose the post status, uh, all or you can choose from the available options. Uh, we can choose the category, we will stick on all. Uh, then the author, again we will stick on all but you can choose your desired author. Uh, here we will need to choose the post type, uh, post and uh, here you will need to choose the generate type. At first we will generate a single quiz uh, and uh, with the next step we will need to click on the get post to process button here. Then we will need to click on generate content. Uh, and wait a little bit until the uh, process is, uh, is complete. That's all. As you can see, uh, all posts processed successfully and our content has been saved. So let's go to the posts, uh, given post and uh, check the quiz generated there. So we click and go to the post, all posts. Let's, for example, open this one. Here you can see the quiz, uh, the questions and answer options generated here. Let's also view the post on the front end on the website. And as you can see, here is the post and by scrolling down, also we can see the quiz, we can pass it and uh, see the result. Here you can see the quiz has been generated. And here you can see the score. With the next step, let's also uh, take a low bulk regeneration of existing data option. Uh, and as you can see in the tooltip, by default, the plugin only generates content for posts that are lacking it. Uh, if it is, um, if this checkbox is checked, the existing data will be overwritten as well. So here we can click on a get post to process here then generate content as you can see uh, there are eight credits instead of three um, like in a previous uh, time uh, so we click on a generate content button and wait a little bit uh, and as you can see there are eight posts in processing uh, so all posts have been processed successfully and uh, content has been saved so with the next step let's also generate a summary to check it uh, in the posts and for that we will need to get uh, back to the post selection and here again we will need to choose uh, post status category author post type uh, and for this time uh, let's untick this uh, allow bulk regeneration and for the generate type let's choose summary here uh, we, we will need to choose paragraph for the summary format also you can choose a bullet list uh, and also here you can provide a paragraph length in words uh, i will go for 20 words but you can um, choose your desired count from the list and then we will need to click on a get post to process button then generate content and wait a little bit until the process is complete so our summaries have been generated so let's go to the post to check them and here under the post and under the post quiz you can see the summary that has been generated with 20 words you can check it here so as we have already uh, generated both quiz and summary let's go to the plugin dashboard to check what uh, the plugin offers there now we are on the dashboard uh, tab and here you can see uh, the post status, uh, the number of quizzes published and draft and uh, the same for the summaries. And uh, here we can see one of the most important features the plugin offers that is engagement analytics. Uh, let's uh, click here uh, and go to our account to check the analytics there. Now we are on our analytics dashboard and here you can see the, the analytics is divided into three parts. 
for a site quiz and for summary let's check the site first uh, here you can see the engagement uh, overview engage sessions per active user average engagement time per active user uh, here you can see um, this in uh, beautiful charts uh, here you can see the active users and sessions with charts total active users and total engagement uh, sessions and here page views uh, vs visits and uh, vs visitors which is a great analytics uh, so that you can understand uh, who visited your uh, how many people visited your website and um, uh, returning visitors as well so that you can understand how many percent of uh, general visitors are getting back to your website then let's check for example the quiz uh, analytics here you can see the quiz views uh, per user quiz that uh, starts uh, per user answers uh, completions and opt-ins in beautiful chart uh, here you can see quiz panel start rate answer rate completion rate uh, quiz events qu quiz views, quiz starts, quiz answers, quiz end, etc. And here you can see the quiz uh, performances uh, by URL, like quizzes with their performances, uh, with uh, quiz views, start rate, answer rate, completion rate, and opt-in rate. And uh, also we can check the summary um, uh, analytics. Here you can see average summary views per user, daily summary events per user in beautiful charts, uh, summary events, uh, daily summary events, etc. So having this kind of analytics on your website is uh, crucial and uh, not clear engagement gives you this possibility to get access to this uh, analytics and uh, check how your website is uh, going. So let's go back to the dashboard and here we can go to the uh, categories. Uh, here you can see the categories uh, for quizzes and for summaries. Uh, here are, um, the categories are displayed uh, with and without, uh, like science category with quizzes and with summaries, etc. Uh, then we can go to the authors. Here you can see the authors who created quizzes and summaries. Now let's go to the post types. Here you can see um, there were the post types like posts that include quizzes and summaries. Uh, eight posts uh, contain quizzes and again uh, eight po uh, posts contain summaries. Let's also check the settings uh, page and uh, see what the plugin offers there. Now we are on the settings page and here we can see different tabs uh, to customize. Uh, the first one is placement and here you can choose how and where to display quizzes, summaries and the table of contents. Uh, the first one is display summary. You can decide whether you want to show manually by a short code before post content or after post content. Then comes the uh, display quiz. Uh, you can either display it manually by a short code uh, before or after post content. And the same goes for the table of contents. Here you can make the table of contents sticky when scrolling if you tick this option. And here you can uh, specify uh, the Z index. Then we can go to theme. And here you can uh, select a theme preset or uh, choose custom one to override individual settings. Uh, for now, bright theme is chosen. You can change it to dark if you want or you can choose a custom one. Then we can go to the display tab and here you can uh, see some settings related to number of quiz uh, questions and answers. Uh, you can choose how many questions and answers to be displayed uh, per quiz. Uh, for example, you can set five, four, etc. Here you can provide uh, custom text for the quiz. Uh, you can here write a text that will be displayed before the quiz starts and after the quiz end uh, on a result page. Uh, here you can provide uh, the section titles, quiz title, summary title, uh, table of contents, uh, display attribution link, you can enable it or not. And here you can see some settings related to the table of contents. Then we can go to the opt-in. Here you can see settings related to the email opt-in form. And on a generation, you can see uh, settings related to the generation, uh, update last modified uh, date, auto-generate quiz on publish, auto-generate summary on publish. 
For example, you can take this option and uh, the date uh, of uh, the content generation will be displayed instead of the post native date, uh, creation date. And with the final step, let's go to the setup page. In order to push AI generated content into WordPress, you will need to here provide uh, site authorization and uh, you will need to uh, grant uh, access. There are two short steps you will need to do uh, before uh, you can push AI generated content into WordPress. You will need to provide API key and uh, grant access. So that was all about the Nuclear Engagement plugin and its uh, AI content generation. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell not to miss further WordPress tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.